Does grip matter? Does it really? How much attention do you put on your grip? Go on, scale for me. 10%, 20%, 90%? How much attention do you put on your grip currently in your game right now? Because it is affecting your ball flight so much. Grip matters on my sort of scale. It's like 80% up there with grip. Think about it. It's our only point of contact with the club. So in today's video, we're gonna test a few things. We're gonna treat it as if you're going to your range session and I want you to follow along with this with me. We're gonna hit some shots, really strong grip. Then I'll hit some shots, really weak grip. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how, if a student comes to me for a lesson, I get them to hold the golf club. Because it's so important in controlling that club face through the release. Now, the club we're gonna look at, because this is the beast that we all need to tame, the big dog, right? How do we get this thing to behave itself when we're out on the golf course, when we're under pressure? And a lot of this is to do with our grip. If your hands feel uncomfortable, we're sort of on a, on a losing streak to begin with. So, let's start off with making this grip far too weak. I think we all know what ball flight's gonna happen here, but I want you to really, honestly, you have to do this, you have to go through this process of making it weak, making it strong, and then doing it right, because then your brain can acknowledge, okay, this is what I don't want, this is what I don't want, how do I find that middle ground? But also, on a different point, you have to acknowledge, well actually, I might wanna hook one more, I might wanna fade one more. These things are really important in controlling the golf club and learning to play golf. So, what would I class as personally as a weak grip? Well, we've got a few categories here. Hopefully we don't fall into one where we get it in the palm. That's not what I'm looking for here because a palm would be weak because it really reduces our wrist mobility throughout the whole shot and any shot. So I'm talking about a grip that's in the fingers, but showing no real knuckles on our left hand, and sort of our thumb sitting more on top of the golf club. Then with our right hand, sitting just like this. So both creases are sort of sitting more into sort of my buttons, as opposed to my right shoulder, okay? First point. Now we're gonna hit the shot away, and then we're gonna get into what is this doing to my club face. So you're gonna see a shot tracer of this one, and me hitting that shot away. So let's hit this one away. We've got our grip, we've got our stance. I've got a weak grip. See a lot more of a fade of the golf ball. Now, why is that the case? I mean, that was a really nice shot, but guaranteed that golf ball was going to have a little bit of left to right curvature. Now, if I show you this right here, okay, now note that. I can only sort of get, let's say, a quarter turn if a full turn was all the way over, right? From where it starts, a quarter turn. It's the simplest way of explaining this, right? So that would really mean I've got less chance of this club face pointing left as I go through the ball. Now things are actually doable there, we can actually get that, but with a weak grip, if we had a bit of a forearm release, our club face is more likely to point to the right, okay? Now there is a bit of a caveat with that. Our good friend John Ram, equally one of the longest hitters on tour right now, and one of probably the straightest hitters on tour, he plays a bit of a fade, right? Now. Let's understand, he is a free athlete. He's unbelievably strong, right? He has a weak grip, but a very bowed wrist. So these sort of factors counteract each other, and he is allowing himself to do that because he's got such an active body release. Now for every club golfer, this is sort of the route, I don't think we should all go to that extreme because, unfortunately, I hate to say it, everybody, we're not quite as good athletes, or majority of us aren't as good as him. And that's just sort of the truth. He trains every day, he plays every day, he's his job. This is not our job. So if we're gonna have a weak grip, we're gonna probably expect a more left to right ball flight, right? So let's think about this the opposite now. Let's take this too strong. So if you're somebody that's struggling with those wounded pigeons, no good for our game, but hold us and get in the air that much. What are we looking at here? So we mentioned weak, this is strong. More like two and a half, sort of three, maybe maybe three knuckles really showing, and both of these sort of creases pointing outside my right shoulder. I mean, you can really see now what I'm gonna show you. So I showed you a quarter turn before to here, right? With a strong grip, 
look how much further I can go. So if you think of this in the release, what could we actually expect through this hitting area? We're going to expect this golf club is going to get in a such a stronger, such more closed position, causing that club face to be closed relative to the path, causing that golf ball to have a bit of right to left curvature. Now it would be beautiful if it started right and finished on target, Maybe that won't be the case. Maybe a lot of these golfers, who are a lot of you who are with a stronger, but sort of start straight, straight and goes a bit further left. So this is what we need to look at here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit a shot away now. Really strong up at address. And see that with the curvature just this ball flight. A lot of right to left. Now, what I'm trying my best to do here is feel as I make the same golf swing. I'm not trying to hold anything off. I'm not trying to roll anything. Imagine I'm being like a mechanical arm here. What happens if I just repeat this into the golf ball? So as I'm going through this video, where do you put yourself now? Are you a golf with left to right curvature? Do you look at your grip and you think, you know what, Alex? I don't see any knuckles there. Or are you a golfer with right to left curvature and you go, you know what, Alex? I see a lot of knuckles there. This is why grip really does matter. It is our only contact of how we can orientate our club face into impact. Also, how we put our hands in the golf club will manipulate or change the way our wrists can work in the swing. Vitally important we get this right. Now, before we go into the next part and talking exactly how you can organize your wrist, if you came directly for me for a lesson down here at Motcham Hall, on this very range, actually, on this very range, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. And if you're brand new, please do make sure you turn the bell on. And if you're a past subscriber and you've not got the bell notification on, ding, 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 I'd really appreciate it if you hit that too. Don't forget, we've got tips every single day. We've got course vlogs on Monday and Tuesday, which do include tips, fitness on Wednesday, and the rest of the day is made up of these tips that are gonna change your game. Simple, effective, easy for you to follow. Right, okay, final point in this video. How do we put our hands on the golf club to give us the best and out of control? Now, if you're following that process, I've done weak, strong, and I want you to think about this, save this video, right, and take it to the range and try it. You might think I sound absolutely crazy asking you to try it and doing the wrong grip two times over, but there's method in this madness. I said to you about controlling your ball flight and your grip does matter because of that. So if you're somebody that needs a little bit more right to left curvature on one hole, the wind's battering you off your left. You could test yourself, but if you don't try these things, how do we know what happens in our golf game? Okay, so if you came for me for a lesson right now, these are the steps I want you to follow. So if you've got your pen and paper, don't worry, you don't need it. We've got a PDF guide. So these are the steps that I want you to follow. Okay, so I'm just going to turn this way. Believe it or not, we have got sun out here at Motcham Hall. I know it's scary. We're getting late September nearly, mid-September nearly, but it's scary. The sun's out. Don't worry. Okay, so this is the sort of process I want you to go by. Rest the club on your shoulder. We're going to place the club in our fingers. So straight away, I know I'm eradicating that palm. We don't want the palm. Club down to the ground, clubs in my fingers, padded parts on top. And you can really see here that as I'm looking down on this golf club, and you can see this as well, two and a half knuckles showing. Crease points into my right shoulder, and I'm sort of shortening my thumb there. So if you look there, that'll be my thumb lengthened, I'm sort of shortening my thumb on the golf club. The final point is here, is I want you to feel like you're gonna go under the club, again, into the fingers, and both of those creases point into our right shoulder. Now, by all means, we could still hit it left, and we can still hit it right. But this is gonna give us a really good control of this golf club. We're not gonna have an under-release, we're not gonna have an over-release, we're gonna give ourselves the best chance of controlling that golf club. Now. There's a few things I want to add here. With this grip, there's some checkpoints I like to have in the golf swing. Top of the back swing, nice flat lead wrist. Come into the last parallel, nice flat lead wrist with hips a little bit open, and then we can feel the release. By all means, if we manipulate this club in the downswing, we're gonna see different results, but you would see those results regardless of what grip you have. Think of this as a process of going, how do I get my grip more neutral? So if I'm too weak, bring it more neutral. If I'm too strong, bring it more neutral, iron out that ball flight, either way. And you know what, test it. Let's see what happens out on the golf course. Grip on, 
hopefully we start to see that ball travel a little bit straighter a little bit longer and you really start to enjoy your golf just that a little bit more simple steps follow that process i promise you grip really does matter